So a lot of TikTokers and a lot of people who actually create content on TikTok are going to be very disappointed with this video here. If you guys didn't know that the United States is making plans to actually ban a TikTok from the United States so that nobody is able to access the app anymore. Now you guys are probably curious as of to why the United States is planning on doing this. If you guys didn't watch my previous video, I recommend going and watching it. But if anything, we'll just explain it now. Basically, TikTok is owned by the Chinese company or by a Chinese company, excuse me. And usually whenever companies are owned in China, as you guys know, China is kind of a communist kind of dictatorship country. Don't want to talk bad on my boy China. And usually if you do own a business in China, they do have control over that business. Whatever you're doing, whether you're making social media apps or whether you're a fish market or something else, China is going to have or the government, sorry, is going to have control over what you are doing so whenever it comes to TikTok, obviously a lot of united states citizens as well as people involved in the military use the TikTok app and the chinese government could possibly be using it to spy on chinese i mean you see i do apologize in advance for my commentary it has been a while since i made a video and usually when i wait a while my commentary goes to shit and the reason that raises concern is because, I mean, the Chinese government could easily be spying on United States citizens wondering what they are doing, what exactly they are looking at on a TikTok because of this app. A lot of these apps, you know, once you download something into your phone, very much like a computer, it is able to run in the background and continue to gather data and information, possibly using your microphone as well as your camera, just collecting all that information and using it to their benefit, whether it be marketing tools. So the U.S. government pretty much wants to put a stop to this, and I don't blame them for doing so but the United States government is kind of hypocritical when it comes to a lot of this stuff because I'm more than sure the United States government is spying on us keeping track of what exactly we are looking at on the internet as well which is I mean okay I guess you know they are our government they do have to regulate all that stuff but I don't know I don't know how I uh, feel about this I feel like China is kind of looking at it I don't know if they're looking at it from a marketing standpoint or for something more malicious and I hope it is just marketing and it, um, I, I don't know I, I genuinely do hope that it is just that because if it is something else then it is something to raise concern but as of now I don't know we're basically going to be reading the article from CNN Business. It states, the United States is looking at banning Chinese social media apps, including TikTok. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Monday, Pompeo suggested the possible move during an interview with Fox News. Laura Ingraham added that we're taking this very seriously. Pompeo was asked by Ingraham whether the United States should be considered a ban on Chinese social media apps, especially TikTok. With respect to Chinese apps on people's cell phones, I can assure you the United States will get this one right too. I don't want to get out in front of the president, Donald Trump, but it's something we're looking at. TikTok is led by an American CEO with hundreds of employees and key leaders across the safety, security, product, and public policy here in the U.S., a TikTok spokesperson said in a statement following Pompeo's comments. We have no higher priority than promoting a safe and secure app experience for our users. We have never provided user data to the Chinese government, nor would we do so if asked. Pompeo's remarks come during a time of heightened tensions between the United States and China, which have spilled over into several arenas, including national security, trade, and technology. TikTok, which is owned by Beijing-based startup ByteDance, has been repeatedly criticized by U.S. politicians who accuse a short-form video app of being a threat to national security because of its ties to China. They allege that the company could be compelled to support and cooperate with intelligence work controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. TikTok has said previously that it operates separately from ByteDance. It says its data centers are located entirely outside of China and that none of the data is subject to Chinese law. U.S. user data is stored in the United States with a backup in Singapore, according to TikTok, a spokesperson for the company told CNN Business in May that it thinks the national security concerns are unfounded. The app has exploded in popularity in the United States and other Western countries, becoming the first Chinese social media platform to gain significant traction with users outside of its home country. It was downloaded 315 million times in the first three months of this year, more quarterly downloads than any other app in history, according to analytics company Sensor Tower. The company also has run into roadblocks elsewhere. Last week, the Indian government said it would ban TikTok and other well-known Chinese apps because they pose a threat to sovereignty and integrity. Tensions between India and China have been escalating after a clash along the Himalayan border. So there you guys have it. That pretty much narrows it down to why the United States is trying to get TikTok banned here. Um, I don't know. I think that it possibly is going to go through. 
And even if they do, a lot of these TikTok TikTokers, sorry, are gonna lose their little careers and they're pretty much following. But I mean, uh, they can adapt, you know, they can direct that attention towards something else, definitely towards like a YouTube channel or something. Um, personally, you know, I've been on TikTok, I've used it a lot. Uh, here and there, really, I don't get on it too much. I look at videos of like cars, you know, people building their cars, they'll get like a junkyard car and then completely restore the car. But the reason that TikTok is so successful is because they really jump to the point in whatever you're watching. Um, it's something that is for people with a light attention span. That's why it is so popular among children because obviously when you're a kid, your attention span for things are very small as opposed to whenever you're an adult. And even me as an adult, when I try to watch a video, a YouTube video or whatever video, um, my attention span is very low. It has to gain my attention within the first minute, two minutes or else I'm completely like lost in the video. I'm not even paying attention at that point. I'm just lost in my thoughts. And that's why TikTok has become so popular with people, especially adults. You see grown men on there making TikToks and grown adult women making TikToks as well because it's just so popular right now. And the way that it's used or the way that they have pretty much um, develop the app is that whenever you post on there you get attention and likes and stuff right away to pretty much hook you in there you know get that uh, dopamine running through your brain so that you continue to keep on fiending for that dopamine every time you post a video or but it's weird and I'm definitely excited to see where this goes hopefully they don't ban it because you know I like to get on it here and there and I know a lot of people watching this are probably thinking the same they like to get on the app they like to look at things that are on the app and uh, it's understandable, you know, entertainment is kind of low right now. YouTube is, uh, there's some cool stuff on there, but not as interesting as TikTok. And I mean, if your attention span is that of a squirrel, then obviously you're going to have a good, uh, you're going to be pay paying very close attention to the TikToks that you watch. I don't know. I personally think that the United States wants to be the only one to be able to keep track of what we're doing and like use us for marketing techniques and to pretty much just sell us stuff and make money, which is uh, kind of understandable, but at the same time, not really. And I think that they should continue to monitor, obviously, the internet searches for people that have malicious intent. But for those that don't, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what, what their next move would be. But thank you guys for watching this video. I do appreciate it. If you guys would like to see more videos like these on your guys' homepage, just feel free to subscribe. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Overall, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I've been Handsome Mark, and uh, we'll see you guys later.